Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this grade 11 physics tutorial video, I'm going to go over the very basics for how to solve a forces question for those students who are just starting forces for the first time. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to do these in just a few easy steps. All right, so let's look at this problem. Here we have a piece of lead on a table, initially at rest, has a force of 195 newtons to the right that is exerted on it. There's also a force of friction that is 155 newtons, and we have a resultant acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared to the right. And it's asking for the mass of the piece of lead. All right, so for any forces problem, the first thing you're going to do, the first step is draw a free body diagram. So a free body diagram is just going to be the object, in this case, the piece of lead on the table, and any force that is acting on it. So in this example, we have an applied force to the right of 195 newtons. We have a frictional force. Now, since it's accelerating to the right and it started from rest, I know it's moving to the right and friction usually acts in the opposite direction of motion. So we have a frictional force to the left of 155 newtons. Now, we're also going to have gravity and the normal force. But when, since our acceleration is horizontal, these two forces are perpendicular, so won't affect this acceleration at all. I'll talk more about the force of gravity in the next video. Now something I always recommend students include on the free body diagram is just to the side or somewhere to include the direction of acceleration. And then to write a coordinate system just to say which direction they're going to choose as their positive direction and to always make that direction the same direction as acceleration. All right, step two. We're going to write out our net force. All right, so F net, and this is in our horizontal direction, is going to be, we have our applied force, which is in our positive direction, so that's going to be a positive force. And then we have a frictional force, in the opposite direction, so it's a negative force, so minus the force of friction. All right, so there is F net. Step three, write out Newton's second law, which means to change F net equal to mass times acceleration. So I'm gonna replace F net with mass times acceleration. And that is still going to equal our applied force minus our frictional force. And finally, we are going to solve. All right, so in this case, we're looking for mass. So let's put in everything else that we know. So we have mass times acceleration, which is 2.5 meters per second squared. And that is going to equal our applied force, which is 195 newtons, minus our frictional force, which is 155 newtons. 195 minus 155 is 40 newtons, and that equals mass times 2.5 meters per second squared. Divide both sides by 2.5, and we solve for mass, which is 40 newtons, divided by 2.5 meters per second squared, which gives us a mass of 16 kilograms. I hope this video helped. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss parts two and three of this mini series that I'm making on solving force problems for beginners.